Stunning proof that cybersecurity is not just an issue in your house, but the White House. Several White House officials got punked. A prankster posed as administration players with stunning success. Pretending to be Jared Kushner, the prankster wrote Homeland Security Advisor Tom Bursett, quote, we're arranging a bit of a soiree towards the end of August. It would be great if you could make it. I promise food of at least comparable, misspelled, quality to that which we ate in Iraq. Without thinking twice about it, Bossert wrote back, thanks, Jared. With a promise like that, I can't refuse. Also, if you ever need it, my personal email is, and then he gave it. Uh, he gave Jared, of course it wasn't Jared, and it didn't end there. The trick took a darker turn when the prankster pretended to be Reince Priebus and wrote to Anthony Scaramucci. He wrote, quote, I had promised myself I would leave my hands mud free, but after reading your tweet today, which stated how soon we will learn who in the media, who has class and who hasn't, has pushed me to this, whatever, it doesn't matter because it was fake, Scaramucci fell for it writing, you know what you did, we all do, even today, but rest assured we were prepared, a man would apologize. And the exchange went on. It turns out the only Trump who did not fall for the trick was Eric Trump, writing back to an email from his brother, Don Jr., I have sent this to law enforcement who will handle from here. Well played, Eric. The prankster's trick is called spear phishing, okay? It involves making your email address look like a legitimate one. We receive these exchanges from the prankster himself, who's based out of the UK. He says his motivation is mirth, not malice. He also says law enforcement has not contacted him yet.